definitely the most tragic day in prehistory. The Hadrosaurus living in North America is taking good care of the egg nest, but the full and unlucky Ankylosaurus is stuck halfway and is being bullied by the land overlord. The two sides fought fiercely. At this moment, a huge meteorite is rapidly falling towards the Earth, and the tall Poltalon first discovered the meteorite, and the Hadrosaurus enjoying the scenery at the seaside witnessed the whole process of the meteorite falling into the Gulf of Mexico. As the Sky Overlord, Feng Shen Pterosaur just landed at the seaside to rest, was killed by a huge energy wave, Tyrannosaurus Rex, who had just finished hunting, was sent back to his hometown by a sudden heat wave before he could eat, and none of the other dinosaurs nearby were spared. It was instantly caught in a high temperature storm, and a land overlord walking by the seaside was shocked by the horrible scene in front of her. A huge tsunami of 300 meters hit her, and in an instant, the destructive power caused by the land overlord's engulfing meteorite and hitting the earth gradually spread to every corner of the earth. The forest ignited a raging fire, and the animals living on the land were killed in the sea of fire. This was the scene of Kawana when the meteorite hit the Earth. A group of Pertalons were looking for a place to hide everywhere. Fortunately, they found a cave. Two smaller cubs successfully entered the cave, but their huge blessings were rejected. In the end, they could only accept their fate of death. A few days later, the two Pertalons walked out of the cave and looked for food outside. However, after searching for several days, they still found nothing. On the way, they also met a cold wind video. An oasis in front of them rekindled their hope of life. This is the Antarctic, the place least affected by the impact of meteorites. Although the Antarctic is now covered with a thick layer of ice, the Antarctic in the dinosaur era is a vibrant world where many dinosaurs thrive. After a long journey, the two giant beasts finally found a place to live.